Hi, my name is Greg and uh, I play the Australian didgeridoo and I use it for sound therapy and healing and I work in yoga studios, retreats, resorts, special needs schools, hospitals and I also do private one-to-one -one sessions as well and so you can see here I've got a quite a good collection of didgeridoos um, all Australian apart from a couple here are, are English didgers and so the didgeridoo is, um, is believed to be one of the oldest woodwind instruments in the world from Australia and they originally come from up in Arnhem Land which is up in the Northern Territory and so this is a very sacred instrument to the um, Aboriginal people of Australia and it's been carbon dated to around about 2000 years however it could be a lot older than that so a didgeridoo is um, it's made from a, a, a tree trunk basically or a branch from a tree and they're eucalyptus trees and so they're all done by um, made by termites so tiny little termites they eat their way through the middle of the um, tree trunk which leaves it hollow so they don't like sunlight and so therefore they don't eat through the whole thing and so you get these beautiful um, tubes basically and then the Aboriginal comes along and he'll then take the bark off the outside he may then paint it up and uh, beeswax on the end and you've got a didgeridoo uh, also known as a, a, a yadaki so it's a very spiritual very spiritual instrument and it belongs to the indigenous people of Australia um, so they all are painted up to tell some sort of a story about man nature and the universe and how we are are all connected and there's a lot of their stories and dream time is uh, is all depicted in the is it in the in the artwork this one you can see the uh, barramundi fish painted on um, this one has Uluru and the olgas painted on and kangaroos hopping across the desert on that side <clears throat> and so uh, over the years and I've been doing this for a long time now um, I've found that it um, alters our state of consciousness and if you're into science, uh, a lot of people like the science behind it, it's called brainwave entrainment. And that basically says that our brain waves entrain to whatever is the dominant frequency around us. So in this case, it's the low frequency range of the didgeridoo. And some of that is down in the alpha, is it down in the alpha state. So therefore it lowers your, your brain waves into a state of deep relaxation. It slows your heart rate down. It slows your mind down, the monkey mind. So if we can slow all that down, then what we find is that our imagination and our creativity has a chance. And so what I find with my uh, sessions is that it boosts imagination, boosts creativity. It also stimulates our, our auric field. Not only am I just this physical body, but I'm an energy being and so it stimulates that auric field and so we have this amazing sense of expansion and it's a really really lovely feeling to really feel what that energy feels like because that's who we really are we're much more than this physical vessel we're actually energy beings direct from the source and we are interconnected and all part of the one thing the one God the one source whatever it is that you want to call it yeah so many people have uh, out-of-body experiences many people um, might uh, uh, see colors when they're laying down in a sound healing session they may see colors it's stimulating the energy body which fires off fires off electrons in the form of of heat light um, and you'll feel it going right through your whole body so people see colors they see they might feel change of temperature from going from very cold to very hot to maybe no, no change at all some people go on a lovely journey so uh, well, we might go anywhere often for me is I just have this sense of real connection with with everything with the universe and it almost it's like it takes me back to before there was any life on this planet it takes us back to that source 
and it's a beautiful beautiful feeling and so yeah uh, it also stimulates our, our physical body and this is how I I discovered it was on a friend who'd been in a, a in a car accident and she was in a significant amount of pain and she asked me if I could play the didgeridoo where she was having pain and in this case it was in her back shoulder neck area so I thought I'll give that a go anyway the pain went away so I was hooked from that moment on and so over the years I've been doing a lot of private sessions helping people with physical aches and pains from myofibromyalgia, um, sciatica, back pain, neck pain, all manner of different things. Sciatica, um, people who have stress problems, mental health problems. I've worked in uh, mental health uh, intensive care units. I've worked in special needs schools, I've worked with animals, with horses especially. It's this, the didgeridoo just seems to talk to them and communicate with them. And the effect on autism is just beautiful. I can, I can bring children who have uh, autism and quite profound autism to a state of deep relaxation simply by playing the didgeridoo in a certain way. And so each dig has got its different frequency, okay? And so, and they all have a different effect on our mind and on our physical body, okay? So I'll just play, I'll just play one, just so you get a little bit of an idea. So this is, um, this resonates around the key of, of B. So it's a nice, um, gentle didgeridoo, and that's the sort of frequency that I like. C, B, A for when I'm taking people down into a relaxation and when I play it really slow it does, it slows us down so just listen, just see how you feel does it every time uh, this is a slightly higher frequency ditch this resonates around the key of C
Thank you. So uh, I hope you found that um, interesting. And if you want to find out more information, send me an email. Uh, it's uh, greg at gregchapman.com and it's two G's on the end of Greg. Or send me a message on Facebook. I'm uh, Greg Chapman Energy is my Facebook page. All right, so that's a little bit about didgeridoo sound therapy and how I work. All right, thank you.